Peace. This is Supreme Intelligence. This is a new video. And this is going to be a random video. Um, I was to ask a question. Like. Do I. Um, do I still love. Um, sunshine and stuff. This is by um, one of my boys. And I was like. Of course I do. You know. But. It's some things that, um, about, um, her that has changed and this changed over a while. It's like when you meet somebody, you're, um, used to this type of person. And even though you're going to do stuff, the person's going to do things, you still love each other or whatever. People say, yeah, through time, yeah, things happen and stuff over the time, it's all... The person moving on, you know what I'm saying? It's easy. Now I mean, I'm like this. Like, if I'm with somebody and I'm loyal and I'm loyal to somebody, like, say if you with um a girl or whatever, and she don't want you talking to this person or this person, because she just don't feel right with you talking to these people. I'm that type of person, I'm gonna cut them off, but after we break up or we going through some shit. I'm not, I'm still not going to talk to them because the simple fact, I know that, that I'm saying that's where the, uh, that's what with me, that's where my loyalty is. But with me in the past, even now, you know what I mean? It's like the person I'm with, they always feel that, yeah, Langston, I mean, Supreme had a problem with him. With this person and this person, but I'm still gonna talk to them and stuff. There's like that shows like where the loyalty is. Loyalty is everything, you know. It should be, even though I say it like I told you, told you guys in the beginning of the relationship, I didn't show like real good loyalty, cause I had a lot of, you know, I had a lot of fears and a lot of insecurities within myself. You know, certain things that I should have talked to her about. You know what I'm saying? Even now, I can, I feel that we still need to talk about some things. But it is what it is. What insecurities I had within myself. Like, I ain't saying I wasn't happy with myself. But I wasn't where I wanted to be, you know. I wanted, yeah, I had, I have a nice job, and I had, uh, I have a house, I have my kids, this and this, but, you know what I'm saying, I wanted more for myself, you know, it's like I wanted a business and stuff, and right now I got me a business and stuff, and I wanted more, you know, I wanted to get married and stuff, and, you know, <clears throat> As I told y'all, my marriage didn't work, you know, which it's cool, you know, and after that, I even got engaged and stuff to, you know, my high school sweetheart, which that didn't work. I mean, that was like terrible, you know, so it's like when me and her met, I'm not saying it wasn't the right time, but it was you know what I'm saying? It's like one of them things I didn't... I don't tell y'all to be honest. Like, me and her was just always cool, you know. But... Something came along and was like, Yo, one day I just woke up one day. I don't know. I went on Facebook and shit. You know what I mean? Do my regular shit. Just go on there and, you know, post stuff. Then... You know me and I just started talking. I'm like, yo, she's really cool. She's cool as shit. You know what I mean? And we started talking every day. Then feelings started getting involved. I was like, this is not normal. I don't like girls like this. Not this quick. Not like this. So time went on. You know what I'm saying? I started. I, I ain't tell her this, but I started to love this girl. And I was like, this is not normal. I ain't even talked to this girl on the phone yet like that you know and 
and it happened and it's like I was like yo what the fuck this is not normal I'm like then I was like yeah how long is this gonna last and shit cause you know I admit I do some fucked up shit that I shouldn't do you know and it's like once I got an understanding of what true love is it's like like I told you everybody around me is in good marriages and good relationships so I start seeing what they not I like take little things from them but I also know what to do like the type of person I am now I'm like more you know I know what to do I know how to make a woman happy and stuff even if we're not in the same state you know what I'm saying I know how to make her happy but and it's like I'm not the best romantic person but I know like how to put a smile on her face I know how to know that it's like when a uh, thing I learned when women in the past it, their past is always um haunts them in some type of way but Women, they're the most beautiful creature in this world, you know what I mean? But they, when they've been damaged, like, I'm not saying damaged, but they went through, like, bad situations, sometimes they will bring that to the new relationship, which that's not, they, it's like, they, they don't think they do, but in the way they do, you know? Like, I used to mess with all the girls that I messed with in my past were all players, you know. And when I first meet them <clears throat> and we together and stuff, I didn't know that they was like that. Like, my family, like I said, we from Jamaica. A lot of them don't like messing with, we like messing with our own people. Well, if you're not Jamaican, you got to be somewhere for a different island because a lot of what I notice about um, American women that when times get rough, they bounce. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and that's a lot of, and, the, and it's not just American culture. It's just a lot of people. Like I'm, I'm the type of person I will fuck up. A men will fuck up a thousand times. You know what I'm saying? But at that thousand time. We'll learn that lesson. You know, women say that, oh, you're not going to change. You're not changing. Like, no. You're always, the thing is, it's not just us men changing. Women need to change in a way, too. And um, one thing I want to talk about is in my situation, like, um, what can I say? Most of the girls I went with, most, most of them, you know what I'm saying was Christian and then as time went on they became something else and it's like a pattern here it's like when they start to learn something else it's like they start saying that that's more important than what me and you need to get done or what we need to do you know it's like I'm used to women that you know that look at me as like the most handsomest guy that they ever that they ever seen you know I'm that's what I'm used to you know it's like with her she was so used to getting all this attention from from guys and stuff from the from the past was she faithful some things was like like questionable but I can't prove it, so I just roll with what she tells me. So what I want to say is, um, I was asked, oh, one more thing. I was asked a question, like, what am I, what type of person that I look for? The type of woman I look for, someone that's smart, intelligent, loves kids, and, you know, knows what, like, love really is, like, you know, like, like when you think about that person, you get 
you know what I'm saying, you get that feeling, like you're you're happy with that person. Even if you're not, you're fighting and stuff, you still thinking about that person. And um someone that's like more like someone that is all about family, you know, someone that the main thing that I I want is someone that won't abandon me, you know. Cause I, I have abandoned issues like everybody does, you know. But that's the main thing that I look for. Like, someone that want to go places, like, you know, want to travel. And so, like I told you guys, like, we planned, like, two trips for next year or whatever. You know, even a trip we had planned for my birthday. So, we talked about it, but it wasn't confirmed, you know. Like, I like to travel. I like to go to concerts. I like stuff like nerdy stuff like museums art museums i like going to like a bookstore or something you know and stuff like that you know someone that be like yeah let me know yo i'm not going nowhere you know like i said it's good to get into new stuff but sometimes we get into new stuff and forget about our, our the person that's there for us you know that I'm the type of person like this, like I tell, and this is my problem, that I expect a lot from people, but not, I expect a lot from people, so it's at times that um, I'd rather see them happy than my my own happiness, you know, like, it's like you ever be with somebody and they're happy, but you're not really happy with the situation. So you just, you put that to a side as long as they're happy. You know, it's like I tell people, it's just talk to the person, you know, have a better understanding of what their needs and what they want or not have a lot of needs. Like, not just sexual needs, but... You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, way to get me, you got to get me up here first. You know? And you have to stay up here. You know? And that's how... That's how I am. You know? I'm... Like, a lot of people don't... And it's crazy. A lot of people don't think I'm so smart because I joke around and I laugh a lot. And, you know... But, like I said, you know what I mean? Just... Know what I'm saying? Think about me. The most important thing. I'd rather you tell me the truth about things than lie about it later, and I find out about it later. Cause the thing about what I, as I told you, I'm a five percenter. So, you know, the universe speaks in so many ways. The universe will tell you. Like, the universe knows when someone loves you. Know what I'm saying? When someone truly, truly loves you, and that don't come around much. But and that's a problem with this world. Like, we got people who, you know, they know a person is in love with them, deeply in love with them, and stuff like that. And um, we still would do things that we know that is fucked up, and we're um, hurt them in, in, in a way. It's not like we do it intentionally, but that's just... Like I, I said, I might make this another video. We have two brains, and we just don't, you know, I'm going to make a video about that, that we got two um, brains that, you know what I mean? And it's like, you sometimes you want to do right, especially people that are like, because there's a lot of people in this world that is like, um, I'm not saying messed up, but like make bad decisions and stuff. Like, for instance, you could have a girl or you can have a man and stuff. And it's like, you still want that to feel like a certain way. Like myself, you know what I'm saying? Us men need to hear certain things every day. Say, yeah, what's up, handsome? What's up? This and this. Oh, enjoy your day. We like to be called handsome. We like to be called smart. We like to be like, good job. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? But I have, like, what I have learned 
over the years is um, a lot, sometimes people like forget like, it's like, like I always said, the way you got the person is sometimes the way that you would lose them. Like, you ever been in a situation like you got a girl and stuff, but you know what I'm saying you want more. So you decide to just drop her, drop your shorty for somebody else. <clears throat> like one of my homeboys did that and I'm like, that's not gonna work. And he was like, it, it, it's gonna work. Less than a month or two passed, now I'm saying it's done. And the girl that he, he thought was gonna work, she dogged the shit out of his ass. I'm like, he's like, how did you know? It's like the universe talks. She still loves you and she misses you and stuff, you know. And I'm not saying you wrong, but I also said to him that y'all need to talk, you know, to see what you can do, even if you have to go to a counselor or something like that, you know. Because during this, it's like his the per his um girl he left she was um if I'm not know if y'all too familiar with with witches, but she's like a, a a witch you know, and she's seen it. She's seen it coming. Like are they together now? No, but they they actually talking. Like people ask me like what do you see your future being? I see my future being bright. You know, like I told y'all in the video yesterday, my job talking about sending me on a, an assignment in either Florida or Chicago or whichever one happens, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to spend this time to to travel, you know, go places where I, I had planned on going, you know what I'm saying? Would I have fun by myself? Yeah, I do. Shit. I can go anywhere by myself and have fun. I'm the type of person I can meet people anywhere. I, I don't. I don't care. Like you could put me in a freaking jungle and stuff with people I don't even know. By the end of that time, they'll. They'll. You know what I'm saying. End of that time, they'll. They'll. Um. Know who I am because that's the type of person I am. I always was a type of person. I. I always stood out from high school to when I was in college to everywhere. You know, like I know that that I am somebody. I know that I am important. I got three boys. I got nieces, nephews. I got god kids. I got a lot of people around me. You know, do I need people to talk to at times? Yes, I do. So whoever I, I can get a hold of to talk to, it's whatever. Some people I want to call, but. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to talk to them about certain things, you know? So I just, sometimes, like, I, I, got, I got myself a little journal now that I, I use. So, um, this is Supreme Intelligent. This is a new video. And peace.